everyone and welcome to Breakthrough Today. On day two, I'd like to talk about the next fundamental of a relationship and that is innate hope. As Christians, our lives revolve around the undying need for hope. C.S. Lewis famously remarked, a Christian's hope isn't an escape or wishful thinking, but something that a Christian is meant to do. It is in the darkest hour that we must remind ourselves that God is in the silences. The commencement of any real relationship is bound to have some deep challenges. It is here one must remember Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The past two years have been massively difficult for the young and old, for marriages that have crumbled and for the young ones in long distance relationships which have broken off for the sheer want of proximity. A Christian relationship, however, transcends the need for physical proximity. Now, make no mistake, I am not propagating that couples should spend long periods apart, but in the event that a certain circumstance is unpromising and bleak, like the times we are living in, you know that God has your back and God has your relationship in the palm of his hand. When you get into a relationship, ensure that it is one that you enter in with hope, faith and love. Hope above all else. Deuteronomy 31.6 states strongly, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. What a significant promise. When you feel your life and your relationship slipping away, recall Proverbs, which reminds us, surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. And this is your prayer of meditation. Your hope will not be cut off. When you meet an obstacle in your relationship, just sit down in peace and connect with the Lord in silence. He will gently ease your burden and replace it with an answer and an eternal hope. Because we are actually committed to each other, but most of all, we are committed to the Lord. And the Lord in return gives us and brings us his peace and his comfort. And this is me, Catherine Abraham, your host, signing off for Breakthrough Today. Thank you.